Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to this exciting video here in my living room. Am I scared that this pole, this bendy pole is going to collapse behind me during filming? Yes I am, but we shall proceed. So it is Valentine's Day. I've been with my husband for seven years. We have a toddler, but I used to go on a lot of dates. I was single for a long time. And to kind of bring myself back into that mindset and live vicariously through past me, I've decided that I want to style a bunch of outfits for some imaginary dates that I'm gonna go on. So I asked my patrons for some date scenarios and oh my God, they've come up with some incredibly juicy and specific ideas. But before we get into styling all of these lovely outfits, the first thing we need to take care of before going on a date is our deodorant. So thank you to this video's sponsor, Segway. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Fussy, and if you haven't already, maybe you wanna take this as a sign to switch from your antiperspirant to natural deodorant. Now, I have been on a journey with deodorants. I am naturally a sweaty Betty. That's just who I am. It is in my nature, I have to deal with it. And I really struggled in my teen years to find a product that actually worked for me. But then I finally did in my early 20s. But it was an antiperspirant, lots of single use plastic, all of that kind of thing, but it worked. And so I was like, I'm just gonna go with this for now. But since learning about eco-friendly alternatives, I was on the hunt for one that worked for me. And a few years ago, I did actually try one, but it did not work. The smells were giving me flashbacks to my teenage years and that's not what I wanted. So I went back to my plastics for a bit and then I tried another that did actually work a lot better. And I kept that up until the postpartum sweats hit because they were something else and this deodorant just could not keep up. So after I had my baby almost two years ago now, I went back to my chemically single use plastics and then Fussy reached out to me. Enter Fussy into the picture. So I thought, okay, fine, I'll give this a go again. The postpartum sweats have calmed down, let's try them. And I am pleased to report that this actually works for me, but I wanted to be using them for at least a month before I agreed to any sponsorship with them. But it has now actually been three months and I've gotten through a whole thing and done my little refill thing and will definitely be continuing to use them. So safe to say that this is officially my new deodorant. Yay! <laughs> my armpits have survived getting on the warm tube with all of my winter layers on. And if that is not an opportunity for a lot of sweating, I don't know what is. So like I said, Fussy is a natural and refillable deodorant. Of course, I had to get myself the orange case. The lid just pops off like so, and then you just twist it around and it comes on up. And then you a little bit of deodorant. It is backed by science made of a probiotic formula that works for over 24 hours. And the refills are eco-friendly, compostable, and plastic free. And the ingredients are all natural, vegan, and cruelty free. They've got loads of different gorgeous scents, but me personally, I'm a bear all, no scent kind of gal, but they've got loads of different options for whatever floats your boat. So once you are done, you just pinch it and pop it off and take out your old one. Obviously mine is full, but let's just pretend. And then you twist your thingy me bobby all the way back down to the bottom and pop your new refill in. Excellent. And then you'll just pop your thingy back on. Oh, we need to go down a bit further. Down, 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 down. Voila, beautiful. And there it is, done. Lid back on, easy peasy. Now let me swap myself background to my current one. Show you how easy it is again, pop. Bop, bop, and now I need to twist it back up because I need access. Et voila. Mm, 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 mm. So of course I've got a discount code for you. If you want 15% off your first fussy order, use my code HANNAH15, click the link in the description and start making the switch from antiperspirant to natural deodorant. Okay, this way Betty now needs to get ready for some imaginary dates. So our pits are taken care of. As you can probably tell, I'm actually wearing makeup in this video, shock horror. I just, I just felt like it. I was like transported into like past me and I used to wear makeup basically every day. So I'm feeling it, 
This is the vibes. This isn't all of my clothes. This is some of my clothes, but because I'm at home, we'll have access to everything. If I can like remember what else is in my drawers and things. This is purely just aesthetics for the video, but let's do it. Let's dive in to date number one. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, you're on a girl's summer holiday, going on a date with a local you've met in some hot country that asked you out. <laughs> Vibes, all the excitement of an unexpected date and the potential you'll never see them again. Oh my God, I love it, I love it. Do I have like my summer clothes here? Oh, I do, I have some summer dresses. Okay, I um, need to think like what else I have in my wardrobe because I mean, this I guess is just gonna be our starting point. Okay, I'm going legs. I'm thinking this dress, shoes. Ooh. Okay, I've got it. Okay, here we go. So this is a dress from Apricot that I've had for maybe a decade and I love it like little mini 60s dress thing. And I've gone with my mustard, strappy, slightly heeled sandals. Just imagine like walking down a harbor, like finding a place to eat, going to a bar for a drink by the beach. <laughs> I got my bag, I've gone for my red bag. Oh, maybe I should go mustard, cause then the mustard shoes. No, no, we're sticking with red. We're sticking with red, decision made. And then I've popped on these earrings that are from this small independent business. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but we'll link in the description. Her earrings are stunning. But yeah, that's it. I don't think I'm gonna need a layer. Hot country in the evening, no layers needed. The other thing that I would probably do is like add the deodorant to my inner thighs for a bit of chub rub relief. But here we have it. Ooh, okay. First date to a fancy restaurant, but it's winter. Okay, we're changing seasons. Okay, winter fancy restaurant date. I think I've been on one fancy restaurant day in my life. <laughs> Sorry about that noise. Ooh, ooh, it's giving me winter. It's giving me fancy. Yes, okay, this is our starting point. Hmm, and the end point too, apparently. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, oh my God. Okay, so bear with. This is how I would arrive at the fancy restaurant. These boots I got at Charity Supermarket recently and I love them. I love them. And they are so comfy. I don't know how that is possible. I've generally done childcare run with these boots. Okay, let's be quick because I'm warm. So we're doing red bag again. This coat isn't that fancy, but it kind of like feels the fanciest out of my coats. It's fairly boxy, but that's because it's my maternity coat. I wore this whilst I was very pregnant and it works, it's fine. I don't need a new coat. Okay, but then we get to the restaurant and layers start to come off. <laughs> okay, here we have it. Layer two of the outfit. Got my skirt and my jumper, both acquired from Big Sister Swap recently. Yes, but then we sit down at the table and you start to get a little warm, okay? Layer number two. Bam. Okay, I've just remembered that the prompt was that this is a first date. So I don't know whether I would like go full tits out on a first date. Also, cause it is winter, maybe I still would wear a vest underneath, but I don't hate it. So there we have it. This is what I'd be sitting eating dinner in. I've got my catch Reese hoops in and then this necklace, honestly, years ago, Lucent. And it says women for women on it. But really I just wanted something gold that like was here to, you know, draw the eyes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And then of course I've got my snag tights because I'm all into my patterned tights at the moment. So there we have it. First date fancy restaurant winter. <laughs> what is next? Okay. <laughs> okay, oh my God. What you'd wear for a first date with each of the Mama Mia men, Sam, Bill and Harry. Oh. Okay, all right. I'm assuming this first date is happening on a Greek island. Although actually, if you go by the storyline of Mamma Mia 2, that's not how it happens. But we're going summer, Europe, Sam, Bill and Harry. Sam, Bill and Harry. Okay, next. Does a date where you're going to end things count? All right, we're doing it. Valentine's Day breakup date. What's the etiquette? Yeah. Nothing too sexy. Depends on the reason for the breakup, but let's say that I'm the one doing the breaking up. Okay. But hmm, 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 hmm. Just go all black funeral vibes. Don't want to overthink it, but it's definitely going to be something you overthink. Hmm, hmm. Okay, you just think. Okay, this is what I've gone for, and this is my reasoning. I've decided that on a breakup date, you want to look and feel kind, comfortable, and confident. Our three cuz. And so this is what this represents. 
to me. I'm gonna be comfortable, I feel like myself, I look like myself, like nothing has changed and I'm physically comfortable as well. I feel confident because I need to like be able to do the breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I need to be sure of myself. I need to like hold my ground, whatever happens, this is the right decision. And you know, wearing something that you feel like good and confident in, yeah. And then the kind part is more just like, I don't know, looking approachable. Really depends on the reason for the breakup. But in this scenario, it's like an amicable, like, sorry, not really working for me vibe. Yeah, this is, this is what I've come up with. And then swiftly on from the breaking up, I can go meet some of my friends in a pub down the road. Voila. I kept some of the same jewelry from the Harry outfit, which again, it was my Catrice earrings. And then my Zephyr jewelry, my necklace with the orange bit of glass from the beach. Okay, next. A date to an escape room, wanna feel good about your look, but you need to be able to crawl around and get physical, but also manage if you get hot from all the puzzle solving, both physically and mentally. I like this one. Dan and I did do an escape room date recently, but I won't recycle that outfit. I'll come up with something anew. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this outfit. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Hannah, what? A dress? Yes, a dress. Of course, with my pattern spotty snag tights, my new boots that Dan got me for Christmas. Oh yeah, okay, here's my thinking. I love a short skirt. I think I look great in them. I think they look great on a lot of people. If you wanna rock a short skirt, yes. Here's the thing, escape room. There'll be lots of moving and lots of reaching. If I reach, I'm trying to reach a thing, the skirt gets shorter. <laughs> And then the other thing is, is obviously, you know, you're getting busy in the escape room, not gonna be wearing all of this. Da, 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 da. Bam. This dress is perfect because free armpits. Free armpits, do all the things, doesn't matter if I get sweaty. Oh my God. I never wear this dress anymore because I can't breastfeed in it, but I've held on to it for the day in my future where I'm no longer breastfeeding because I mean, do I need to explain? I just think it's so cool. And also like, I've never worn these two things together because these are new and I'm into it. She's escaping. She's doing the escape room. Ooh, 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 ooh. Puzzle solving. It's very, it's giving me like the puzzle solving like Velma, Scooby-Doo vibes as well, maybe, maybe. Anyway, I just want to keep this on. This is great. Okay, last one. Brunch date in spring with someone you met at a mutual friend's birthday party the night before. Sounds like mine and Dan's first date, but it was his sister's birthday party and everyone else who was at the party also came to brunch. <laughs> okay, so did we go home separately or did we go home together, hence why the brunch? So am I wearing the party clothes or have we arranged this? We swapped numbers. What's the, like, do I just rock up in the party clothes from the night before? I'm gonna say we met, swapped numbers and immediately arranged a date for the very next day. But I slept in my own bed at home that night. So I have access to my entire wardrobe, basically. Okay, I, I instantly know what dress I wanna wear. I instantly know. Spring brunch, da 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 da. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. It's me, I'm the problem. Okay, let's build a brunch outfit around you, my friend. Let's do it. So I've made the executive decision that on this date, it's going to rain. And hence why I've busted out my flut anorak, bright green, Tray cool, love it. Which means I can like properly wrap myself up to hide from the rain. Also it's spring, it's the UK, so it's not like hot, hot. So I've got my cardi as a layer underneath and just cash trainers I me mean, handbag. I think because it's like brunch after a party as well, like bit fragile, bit hungover potentially. And so just you wanna keep things loosey goosey, cash, comfortable, but also cute, you know? So same necklace because this is just a staple and I love it. But the earrings are some new ones that I was gifted from Wild Clay. She watches these videos and has a small business hand making all of these gorgeous earrings. And they're like love hearts. And they kind of vibe with the splodges on the dress. But I mean, if I've organized a date the day after meeting someone, we both must be like, there's a vibe, there's an instant crush. And so bit of love heart earrings is just like part of that vibe, sending signals like love is in the air. I don't know. I'm very warm now. Alrighty. 
So there we have it. Those are some outfits that I've styled for some imaginary dates that hopefully I'll get to go on in the future, you know, when the kids are grown up and we've got some more free time. But for now, it's just all going to have to be pretty imaginary. Thanks again to Fussy for sponsoring this video and my armpits. It's been very sweaty getting in and out of clothes, but it has held strong. Don't forget, you can get 15% off your first order of Fussy using my code HANNAH15. There's also a link in the description. There are a lot more date scenarios that my patrons sent in. So if you'd be interested in a part two, another one of these fun shenanigans, maybe I even bring in a friend, let me know, let me know. Now I need to pack all of this up and put it away. Fun, I think I'll just keep this on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.